Ultra Vegito is a true menace. Before all of this, I was Team Gogeta, but you know, I'm, maybe I now need to switch to Team Vegito. Enough talk. Let's see his body count and man, let's just get on to the reaction, shall we? Let's get to it. All right, guys, with that intro out of the way, man, let's get on to the video, shall we? <laughs> all right, let's 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 get on to it, man. Ultra Vegito. Show me the hype, man. Show me what you can do, man. Let's get on to it. Man. So our story continues in the aftermath of Vegito's final Kamehameha on Beerus. The smoke begins to dissipate, gently revealing a figure in the midst. As it finally clears, we see Vegito is breathing heavily, Sweat beating from his brow and his chest rising and falling with speed, huffing and puffing as though his lungs simply cannot receive enough oxygen to keep his. Damn. Okay, so this was the Finally. his final coming. How was the last thing he did, right? Smirking says, "He's not here anymore. Looks like he got away somehow. I, I can't seem to sense a trace of him anywhere. I should have known." <laughs> <laughs> so typical of Beerus. Yeah, yeah, he was super tired after that. He went full power for that. His eyes darting back and forth, searching for any sign of movement that could be Beerus. Vegeta doesn't like this. How could Beerus be avoiding his senses in this form? Nothing should be able to escape him. Vegeta continues to scan the area, but he finds nothing. It's as if Beerus simply faded away, written out of existence. Vegito's anger begins to rise to a crescendo, his patience running thin before he yells out, <clears throat> So this is the great Beerus. They didn't tell me you like to run away from- Okay, so last time, uh, like last video, he did the final company hot and Beerus died actually, right? So- Come out now, you coward! Are you going to fight me or not? He soon spots Whis down below and yells out to him, Whis! What kind of game is this? Since when do so-called gods run and hide from a fight? And to think of all the remarkable things I heard about Beerus's power. Tell me. Did Beerus? Where is that? Did Beerus go like full of power or something? Like did he just I think he just got caught off guard, I believe. But um perhaps he's chosen to pick a fight with some mice instead of the great Saiyan race before him. This is so unbefitting of a god. But Whis is simply just silent for a moment, a thought growing in his mind, thinking of the right words to say, before then finally looking at Vegito with a face of concern and says, I don't know how else to tell you this, but he is not hiding Vegito. Yep, Whis is going to spill the beans. Gone. You killed him. <gasps> what did you say? Vegito is utterly blindsided by the news. He doesn't know how to compute the words that he just heard. His face contorts into shock at first. I... I killed him? That's what you're saying? He's no more? Vegito can hardly believe the words are coming out of his own mouth. <coughs> but then he begins to nervously smile, saying... You must be kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, he should be able to revive him with the Dragon Balls, right? So I don't think it, would be, it should be that uh, big of a deal. You wouldn't be so emotionless as you are right now. Please, spare me this nonsense and stop with the games. I do not like to indulge in such childish activities. But Whis is eerily devoid of any emotion still. As though he didn't just witness what happened. I guess that does make sense, right? The angels, not really replied, staying neutral. How else should I be reacting, Vegito? Did you expect something else of me? I am an angel attendant. I exist only to serve the wants and needs of the god of destruction in this universe. Does it alarm you to hear that I have no feelings? Either positive to be honest, being a god of destruction would be amazing. I just tell my angel to just, just give me some pizza, man. Like, screw, <laughs> screw it, I'm hungry, man. Please, you know, just use the staff to give me some pizza. Just merely duty. I hope they can actually do that. Can, they, they can do that, right? I don't think they can. I don't know. Find the answer that you see. What's over there? Vegito's eyes flicker in the direction of where Whis is pointing, and for a moment, his facial expression runs cold. It takes him a while to fully believe 
what he is seeing before <laughs> and then <laughs> motionless on the floor is Beerus's arm the last surviving part Whoa. Of the rest has been blasted out of existence Vegito still in disbelief tries to wrap his brain around what is happening no there's no way I don't understand how this can be this isn't what I wanted Vegito then closes his eyes in sadness and anger his emotions getting the better of him by the Goku side his heart begins to swell that only he can feel he wrestles internally with his feelings as he thinks how how powerful are we in this form I didn't know that we were capable of such power would have held back if I knew this would happen I would have stopped myself from going too far damn it the Vegeta in me got carried away I lost control I let this <laughs> yeah, the Vegeta side yep. Vegeta then flies down to where Beerus's arm lays completely still on the ground he stoops down low and slowly picks up Beerus's hand. For a few moments, he peers at it sadly, a range of emotions coursing through his body, hating that after everything that has happened, it finally came down to this. What? What have we done? Following this, Vegeta I did, returns to Whis. I did feel like, uh, that was Goku talking, like with the sadness. I feel like Vegeta... Like maybe Vegeta will still be sad, but not like that much, what maybe. Now? I have a bad feeling about this. I know that they're extremely powerful, but I wouldn't think the Dragon Balls alone had the ability to revive a god. What do I need to do to fix this? I know that this is my wrong, and I have to find a way to make this right, Whis. I will give my life if it means bringing back Beerus. Whis, however, just looks back at him. Again with a face that holds no real emotion or tells. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vegito, but there is nothing you can do now. What's done is done. We cannot turn back time here. Just wait there. Your just reward will come to you now. Goodbye for now. Before suddenly vanishing away to the surprise of I'm guessing you can't go back in time because you know they they become uh you know arrive just as fast onto the scene as we left it they become like inactive or something like that unactive or something Beerus? leaving ultra Vegito to slowly but assuredly turn around only to be met with a shocking sight what what are you doing here and suddenly standing before him out of nowhere, all 11 <laughs> gods of the Oh no, it's all of them. Vegito, oh no. Him in from all sides. And there is no escape. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, face, Chomp will be mad, right? Hauntingly angry. Their teeth gritted and eyes narrow. There is only one thing on their mind, and that is making Vegito pay for what he has done to Beerus. The two angriest, with bloodlust emanating from them, being Champa, the brother of Makes Beerus, sense. Makes sense. Elmod, the best friend of the former God of Destruction. <coughs> Vegito is rooted to the spot in shock, unable to believe that the God of Destructions would appear and pin their sights on him. This isn't good, and he knows it. He peers at them, unsurely saying... The gods of destruction? What is this? I don't understand what's going on here. What are you all doing? This is about another tournament. This isn't the right time. <laughs> a tournament. Belmont, though, then notices that in Vegito's hand, he is holding none other than Beerus' severed arm. Belmont, at first, gains a smirk on his face, almost unbelieving of the audacity of Vegito to hold his victim's arm like a trophy, saying, You saying scum? The truth is out in the open now. So you were the one who killed our fellow god. Before outreaching his hand in a rage and yelling, I bet you thought you'd get away with this, didn't you, mortal? Well, 
We will not stand for this. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Scum? Do you hear me? You will pay. He then looks to the other gods who are all in agreement, now knowing their worst fears are confirmed, and the assailant is right before them. There's a hunger in the eyes of the eleven gods, a hunger for Vegito's blood and pain. They lack no confidence, as they know together, however strong Ultra Vegito may be, he stands no chance Yeah. the eleven strongest in the moment. Yeah, he can deal with eleven at with once. With rage, Chumper yells, Gods of destruction, hear me! We shall do this for Beerus. We cannot allow his death at the hands of this Saiyan scum to go unpunished. We must work together to bring this trash to justice. Nobody murders a god of destruction and is allowed to get away with it. Nobody! Hakai! What? Oh, damn, whoa. He begins to panic. Worry written all over his face <gasps> as all of <laughs> They're just like all around him, bro. <laughs> oh, no, Vegito. Vegito knows there is no escape now. His fate has been sealed. In the shock of this unbelievable turn of events, even the cocky Ultra Vegito can barely say a thing, petrified in the spot. But with no mercy, in unison, the 11 gods of destruction start to Hakai Vegito, and a tremendous ball of dark destruction energy begins to emanate uh, in yeah. from their outstretched hands, before they finally yell, Hakai! <laughs> Vegito releases a scream that could strip paint from the walls. He's in sheer, utter agony, trapped and defenseless in a massive concentrated ball of her kind. There is no way out for him. He is subject to the punishment from the gods, and nothing can save him now. It's always good to get her kind. Oh, as fast as they arrive, the eleven gods and Vegito vanish from the scene as if they were never there to begin with. Whis, who now reveals himself to still have been nearby, then finally begins to show some emotion as he looks on astounded as to what has just happened oh. to Vegito and the <laughs> What just happened? Whis then says, with remorse in his voice, Only Zeno knows what horrible fate lies for those mindless individuals that dare to kill a god. Accident or not, I leave this up to you now, father. Vegito's destiny is in your hands. Vegito then appears in a strange place. <laughs> well, I guess I would say he got lucky, I, I guess. Grand Priest, Zeno and his guards. He sits to his knees, weak, hurt, and coughing in pain. His body barely able to function after the agonizing punishment it just received. Yeah, he's about to what? disintegrate, what bro. Vegito gets up feebly and scans the desolate area. Nothing stirs. It seems as though he's the only one there. He says, Where did those gods go? Did they spare me? Did they finally see that what happened to Beerus was an accident? Surely they must know. I didn't mean to kill him. That isn't me. But as Vegito self-reflects, out of nowhere, a stern voice hits Vegito's ears, calling out from the distance saying, Don't be so foolish, Saiyan. No, of course they did not spare you. Why would they ever do that? In fact, they brought you here for an even worse... What's, what's worse than getting Hakai? <laughs> what? Vegito turns around to see that Zeno is standing there with his two guards. I guess some type of torture or something. I guess torture would be worse than death. I, I guess, depending on what it is. Vegito's every movement. The subtle, happy, and calming nature of the Grand Priest and Zeno have now worn off. It is almost like they are now two entirely different entities. Vegito is in utter disbelief and says. Zenchan, is that really you? So it was you who was behind all that? What is going on here? This is a big misunderstanding. I hope you realize. And still in pain and wrecked with fatigue, 
Vegeta begins naively walking over to okay. Zeno, saying, Listen to me carefully. You know me. I didn't mean to do any of this. It's not what I wanted. If there's a way to bring Beerus back, I'll do it. Just. <laughs> Wait, what this, happened? This is. But before he can move any further, Vegeta looks down and sees one of Zeno's guards oh, and damn. right in front of him and delivered an excruciating punch right in his gut with the guard confidently saying Stand back. Move only when told to move. Oh, Vegito damn. coughs out blood in pain. <laughs> the wear and tear on his body oh, from the man. 11 gods her kying him has made him too slow to react to the punch. Vegito can only drop onto one knee, saying, Damn, they're really fast and strong. I didn't see it coming. It was on to me before I could even move. Knowing that violence isn't the answer here, Vegito then looks up to Zeno again and says, Zenchan, stop this madness. Please just listen to me for a moment. Let me explain what's going on. It's me, Goku. Well, right now I'm actually Goku and Vegeta combined together. But you know me and you know this isn't right. Just give me a second <coughs> to explain myself, damn it. But his words fall on deaf ears. <laughs> oh man, that would, that would suck, man. Coming out of his mouth and much less an inescapable situation i hate that unimpressed and dark in nature in a blur of extreme movement fitting of the father of all angels the grand priest stealthily appears behind vegeto evading his senses and knocks him out from behind with one perfect blow no no and with just that one move the Grand Priest, oh one of the gosh. four strongest in the multiverse, oh my <laughs> straight to base. Damn, my boy Vegito, you good, bro? Oh my gosh. <laughs> with Vegito now out for the count, the Grand Priest, with a stern face, looks down and says, That will be enough talking. Do you not see that we do not need any more explanation from you? Your judgment is near. And will come from Zeno in the next few days, God Killer. Until then, you have our permission to rot here in silence. The scene then goes pitch black <coughs> as some time passes by. Oh, whoa. Let me out of here! And from the pitch black, we are treated to a shocking image of a severely bloody and bruised Vegito who is now suspended in mid-air by a jungle of chains that bind him from the walls and ground. Now topless, each one wraps around a limb from <coughs> his feet to his legs, his arms and his neck. He's completely bound, trapped and nowhere to escape. This is the tragic end of Ultra Vegeta. Or is it? <laughs> oh my gosh yeah um i hate situations like that because you know like beerus was like you know fight against me full power and if you don't i'm gonna hakai you and earth right but i guess he said he's gonna spare earth so vegeto pretty much had to fight him or he's gonna get hakai anyway so i mean this was like a lose lose situation let's you know hope vegeto is in good health uh, let's, let's hope he's in good health and uh next week we'll go ahead and see how ultra vegeto fares against this unescapable situation and um yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one uh, good luck to vegeto good luck